Hi, Ann Curry, and I'm here with Mason Buckles of Caliber Home Loans. And um, we're talking about homeowners, Mason, and you know, interesting environment we're in and people are finding themselves either laid off from their job, maybe they're not being able to collect home um, unemployment. They own a home and they're finding themselves in a very unique situation where they're having a hard time paying their mortgage. What, what are their options? Well, you know, it's going to be case by case, right? And there are, as many people have probably seen, um, forbearance options that are available. So a big part of the stimulus package that came out spoke to forbearance. But I think the really important detail there is to make sure that they're connecting with someone like myself, that they're their lender that they've worked with in the past, or if need be, a new lender, to gain that understanding. Because forbearance isn't a free pass, right? You, what is forbearance, uh, Mason, for people who don't, have, don't know uh, that term? Think of it... Uh, plainly as the ability to almost hit the pause button on making your mortgage payments. Mm -hmm. So you have financial impact, job loss, whatever it may be, right? You have the option right now, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, et cetera, have released the ability for lenders to allow you to not make your payments. And it's uh, as little as three months is up to a year, depending on the extreme you know, level of circumstance attached to it. But I think the misconception is great. I don't have my payments, and then they just like get magically put to the end of my loan. That's not how it works. Mm. You can go up to 90 days without making your mortgage payment. But that 90 day period as that ends, you've got three months due plus your current month. So mm. effectively, four months of mortgages due in a 30 day window. If you can't pay that, you can do what's called a loan modification. But a loan modification is going to hit you with three months of mortgage lates which means your credit rating is going to tank. Mm. All right. So for those people that, you know, might think of this as an opportunity for a kind of like a free pass, oh, maybe I just won't pay my mortgage. Don't make that mistake. You know, the people that are truly impacted, you know, the lenders want, want to work with them. They want to help them. They want to make sure that they can stay in their homes. That's a big push and a big important part of what's going on. But ultimately, you know, they have to be prepared to know that they're going to feel an impact credit wise and, and moving forward from that. They'll be in their house. They may have a, you know, a modified loan that makes it more affordable for them, but they are going to be impacted credit wise, which means their ability to borrow for other, you know, ventures, et cetera, is going to be impacted. Mm. So instead of uh, relying on what they're reading on social media or right. in the general media, they should connect with someone like you because it is a very individual um, decision and impact. It so is. they can come to you and say, hey, I'm having a hard time. And you can guide them on what their options are. Yeah. You know, we look at, uh, you know, I have many clients where, you know, a spouse is laid off, but one spouse is still working kind of thing. Well, the opportunity there is, you know, really right now with where interest rates are, potentially them refund, mm -hmm. right? maybe we can help them save money more traditionally without having to bear can qualify on one spouse's income and lower their interest rate to the point that they're saving money well a they save money monthly b potentially if needed they could pull some equity out of their home in the form of cash and then c when you close a refi you have a 30-day window before payments due, so you would actually get you know basically a month off just through that process anyway so, okay you just hit on a key and yeah. with, with every crisis or every challenge there's always an opportunity Absolutely. and when you say to yourself what's the opportunity here what i heard you just say is look into a refinance because a the benefit is you can pull cash out yep. b i heard you just say that your first payment may not be due for 30 to 45 days yep. which then gives them that pause that yep. they're looking for window anyway yep. and b their interest rate could be reduced yep bottom line every you know everyone's gonna have a unique situation and depending on when they got their last home loan they may be you know similar to where the market is right now or not but if they have needs, let someone like myself evaluate first before you go with that forbearance route. The forbearance route is going to have some unintended consequences. Oh, thank you for that. This is key and really what people need to know. So if you find yourself in that situation, reach out to us and I'll connect you with Mason or um, you can reach out to Mason directly. We'll have his contact info here. And sure. thanks again, Mason, for helping. We, we want to help people. Absolutely. And in a sure. time where things are uncertain and there's just so much information out there it's hard to disseminate but sitting down with a professional like me or yourself um yeah. is the key here you got to make sure the information is good yeah. right and it's a lot to weed through it's a, it's very heavy in the news cycle 
and it's impactful. I mean, there's you know eleven trillion dollars worth of mortgages out there in, in the U.S. right now, and people are having a hard time figuring out how to make it work. So yeah. let us help. You. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks, Anne. Okay.